We got the newest cash of plum layers. So today for our Beyblade show, we are taking a look at the Volume 10 Gashapon Volume. So if you don't know what a Gashapon is, in Japan there's a little machine, you put like, for this one in particular, you put 400 yen, and you twist it, and then after you'll get a, a random layer. And for this set, it's got five layers, as always. It's got a Arc Bahamut, which is red. It's in the theme of Shelter Regulus, like the previous one. Really nice, actually. Bottom is a little bit yellow. A Alter Kronos, which is black, which reminds me actually of, what was it? Like the evil uh, Kronos from the Snake Pit. A yellow Emperor Fornius Lair, which looks really nice. Dragoon Phantom, which is a purple lair, which I think looks sick. And the newest Chozetsu Lair, uh, Orb Aegis. Now, this is actually, the full combo is coming out in that set with Spriggan, right? It's coming up. Yeah, and uh, it's Spriggan, Crash Ragnarok, uh, Bloody Longinus, and Orbegus. So we'll get. The, so, yeah, this base is probably going to come later down the season, probably when Shu's about to come back, since we already know it's Spriggan. Um, overall, I gotta say these low layers look really, really nice. And when you compare them you know, to the previous one, like we obviously have a gold one and the regular version, but I honestly like, really like the purple one. Uh, Valkyrie is okay. I'm not really a fan of uh, the bow catches they've been doing. I think it's been really sloppy. But hopefully this one has good teeth because the random booster one, if you don't know, had weak, weak teeth. Uh, Cognite's really nice. No complaints for Cognite, honestly. I love Cognite. Really smooth and clean. Teeth if you want to see it. F yeah, Fornius, they also had the last random booster. I had really bad teeth for it, so hopefully that gets better. This lair, Orb Aegis, looks super nice. Has some teal with some blue surrounding it. This bait looks really sick. Kind of reminds me of Drasil in a way. You can see that there's metal surroundings. Basically sort of got like a shield, which I think is really cool. I think it's going to be a really solid defensive lair. So there has been a lot of combos being tested on this. I don't know what's the definitive combo, but uh, you know, we'll see. And I just realized also, same colors as cows are. <laughs> so what we'll do, I'm gonna quickly show it off. I'll probably just give some random combo to all of them. Or just, well, for this one, I'll just give uh, Archer Hercules part, but I'll give it 13 with proof. Of course, we got Eternal. So that'll just, I guess, be our first combo for it. Really smooth. And if you wanna see a level chip on it, which I'll probably keep on this one, just cause. So let's place it. Super clean on this. I really like it. Of course, tell me in the comment section below what's your favorite layer out of the whole set and what combo should we do for Orbegus? And also, if you're wondering, yes, we'll be selling this on our uh, shop, which I'll have a link in the description for. So, I don't have extra parts for this, but just because it really does match, I want to give it uh, Yami Terios' parts or Shadow Materials parts. Anyway, it's going to be really tight because this layer is not really known. Well, any old gen layer is not really known for being super tight on the maze. But this should be pretty solid. I like it. Of course, you have a maybe specific combo for this, and I have spare parts, I'll do that. Uh, Bahamut, I'll probably just keep like the regular combo for it. Nothing really special. This one does feel as tight as the original lair, so I guess we'll see later on how good it is. But I think overall, I love the color scheme for everything. This blends really well. The nice purple with the red and the yellow. Then after, this is all right. I mean, this is based off Regulus. Not well, the same color skin they did before. Fornius looks all right. Fornius doesn't feel that bad, honestly. It's pretty solid. I like the yellow. I think it blends well. Nice green. It's all right. It's all right. It's the random booster yard. So Fornius doesn't look that bad, actually. Kind of fits. I right, this. I'll rank them in a second. So with Kronos, I'll probably just regular combo. With the layer. I might actually keep this layer in all honesty. That's what I've done before. And yeah, that's kind of it. So if I were to rank everything, like one to five, I would probably go number one, 
Dragoon Phantom. Number two, Alter Kronos. Three, Orb Aegis. Four, Emperor Fornius. And five, um, Ark Bahamut. I'm sorry, I'm not really a fan of Ark Bahamut, but what we'll do now is basically with all the combos that we have, we'll make a battle against Orb Aegis and we'll do a few rounds with Orb Aegis against uh, Geist Fafnir and Revive Phoenix and we'll see how well it is. So now I'll be doing some battles. So let's do Fornius, zero yard against Orb Aegis, which is 13 proof and eternal. So bleeders ready and set. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. I don't think Fornius should burst. At least I'd hope not. Yeah, Fornius can take it. Ooh, that's nice. I almost bursted to this yellow Fornius lair. Okay. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. I think the Fornius lair is alright. Don't really have any complaints. Actually, you want to know what? Let me try something. Let me give, uh, let me give it absorb. So I just want to test it out. So absorb against Fornius. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, the frame came off. That's nice. I might cop another absorb. We'll see if I can beat it. Yeah, I'll probably cop another absorb. So one click this time, and Fornius, uh, almost midway. So that was all right. We'll do our next match. Will be Orb Aegis against what's our next right bay? Uh, Alter Chronos. So three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, Chronos. Yeah, I gotta say, they really did a good job with the Chrono Slayer. And the Fornius one, too. I mean, overall, this is a pretty decent set. Marcus is alright. Yeah, there we go. First round's to me. I got one click, and Chronos almost burst in. 3 2 1 go shoot. 3 2 1 go shoot. There we go, burst. Nice. Now we're gonna try something else. Let's do, what is this? Dragoon Phantom Zero Extreme Dash against Orb Aegis. I'll use this new Hasbro launcher, which I got from that RC set. Check out that video if you haven't already. So we'll see how good it is, if we can tank it. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Yeah, I'll fix the launch after. Well, first round, we'll see how it does. I will be surprised if it bursts. I'm also not too familiar with old gen stuff, so if there's a specific reference to this lair, let me know in the comment section below, because I don't know if it's just like to the anime or if it's just like a nice color scheme they have. The first round I lost, but I got no clicks, and this thing got one click. We'll try that again. Let me clear off the decimal driver. So bladers ready and set. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Yeah, it's doing all right. Did get any clicks? No clicks, obviously, with that extreme dash. One click. We'll try that again. So bleeders ready and set. Three, two, one, go shoot. Probably do one more round after this. Yeah, I think it's doing all right. So we'll do against uh, what was it, Balkesh? Balkesh only gets one round. I don't like that layer. Shoot. Yeah, okay. All right, Balkesh, burst right away. Show that again. Three, two, one, go shoot. 
Three, two, one, go shoot. I don't know if I was, I'm gonna see you with a regular launcher. Three, two, one, go shoot. Yeah, there we go. I think, I think the lair is still weak. Like, I don't know what is with Ark Bahama and just having weak versions of its lairs, but that's no, whatever. I'm, I'm still doing one round, like a proper round. So we're Vegas, Ark Bahamut, we'll launch Ark Bahamut first, 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Or Vegas. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the teeth on this are really weak, I don't know why. This was like the definite one, this part right here is really tight there. The rest of them are just super loose, so that's why they just suck. So now, what we're going to be doing, since I have to test it out, loot against Geist Fafnir, I'll give... Fafnir back its absorb and we'll give it eternal. And we'll hand spin and do a normal round. So Orbegus. Guys. This is guys with no proof or anything, so we'll see what happens. That was tough. All right, let's try it again. I'm gonna do normal launch now. Go shoot! Go shoot. Yeah, Orbegus has a really solid layer. Like, I think it paired up with Absorb is a pretty good combo, because it has that shield and it can take in that hit. The Absorb has like that double bounce. Oh, it just burst the Geist! Orbegus, 13 proof! Eternal burst guys Fafnir Nice, let's do one round against revive Phoenix and this time we'll give it back. It's absorb driver Come on win Even beats Revive Phoenix. So what we'll do, we'll do a sequel to this video later with Orb Aegis, and you'll submit your combo whenever it gets more, mostly upvoted. We'll do that combo. We'll do Orb Aegis versus all Chozetsu Bays. So let me know in the comment section what was your favorite bay. But as always, have an awesome, have an amazing, burst day.